the most comprehensive set of ag-based data collected on a regular basis. USDA's Census of Agriculture. We want to understand as much as we can about everyone involved in American agriculture. We want to hear directly from the producer because that's the most reliable place to get that information. And we really want to learn about what folks are growing, what emerging trends are out there. And the only avenue we have for that is the Census of Ag. And data is still being collected for the 2022 Census, a vital source of information for stakeholders. Looking at February of 24 at this time, we'll release about five million new data points at that time. Yet several responders and potential responders of this survey might still have questions of their own. I'm Rod Bain. Jody McDaniel and Hubert Hamer of USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service join me as we look at questions about the 2022 Census of Agriculture in this edition of Agriculture USA. So many questions within the 2022 Census of Agriculture. So many questions about the 2022 Census of Ag. What is known is this important survey conducted every five years is the definitive set of data captured at a point in time about our nation's ag sector. We're in the throes of the data collection activity right now, actually running a little bit behind pace of the 2017 census. There's still time to provide that information. We'll be collecting information through the end of the spring. Hubert Hamer is with USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service, the agency that oversees the census. The census survey goes to all eligible agricultural producers in our country. But is filling out and submitting the census required by law? The answer provided by Jody McDaniel of USDA NAS. The census does have to be returned by law, and it's not just the census of agriculture, but there's also an economic census as well as the decennial census. Now, there is usually a deadline set by NAS for when the census surveys can be submitted, one that tends to be flexible regarding the final cutoff date. Jody McDaniel, why is that? We set the initial due date based on the goal of wrapping up data collection in a timely manner for analysis so that we can get that data back out as quickly as possible. And then we evaluate our returns leading up to that due date. And then we have additional follow-up mailing. That date, actually, it flows each census cycle. And again, it's dependent on the level of data we've gotten back in. A final push is now underway to get as many producers as possible to fill out and turn in their 2022 census forms. As for the part of why some farmers and ranchers have perhaps not yet submitted their surveys, both Haber and McDaniel acknowledge various reasons. Privacy concerns about the data shared by producers is one. As Haber explains, though, Any piece of information that farmers and ranchers provide to us, it is protected by law. It cannot be shared with any other organization. It can't be shared within the Department of Agriculture. So the data that they're providing us is protected. It's safe. Then there are the census forms themselves, which Jody McDaniel says for participants, Maybe the form's overwhelming for them. As there are several pages of questions within the census survey. But when you take a look on the inside of the questionnaire and you start going section from section, there are many, many sections that most producers aren't going to fill out depending on what they grow or what part of agriculture they're involved in. To help improve response rate, census enumerators and data collectors are conducting follow-up phone calls with producers who have not yet yet filled out their survey. We also have records with our field enumerators who have been trying to work at a local level as well. Census surveys can also be completed online. As Hubert Haber explains, We really prefer the internet version. We've made it a lot more easy to follow. And then you don't have to go through all of the sections. You can click through and put the data in that you have for your operation. And census surveys are still being accepted by mail. The 2022 Census of Ag results are scheduled for release in February 2024 most likely too late to be incorporated into 2023 Farm Bill discussions, development, and potential approval, according to Hamer. We won't have any information available until we roll out the results, so we won't have any preliminary information until everything is collected, analyzed, and processed on that schedule. More details about the 2022 Census of Ag are available online at www.nass.usda.gov slash agcensus all one word. As for the how the census is developed over time and the why census data is important, that is the focus of our next edition of Agriculture USA. I'm Rod Bain reporting for the U.S. Department of Agriculture in Washington, D.C.